While the Super Nintendo made heavy use of its 256 by 224 resolution, resulting in a stretched image when output to a CRT, the Sega Genesis mostly used what is referred to as H40 mode, a higher resolution of 320 by 224 a resolution that lends itself well to a fixed pixel panel. However, some Genesis games elected to use a lower resolution, the same 256 by 224 size used by the Super Nintendo. As with the SNES, this does result in a stretched image on a CRT, and again, it is by design. Remember that a CRT paints the image to the screen and doesn't have the same type of precision a fixed pixel display does. Geometry and overscan will vary between different CRT sets, but there is enough of a difference in horizontal resolution that we should be able to perceive it, just like with the Super Nintendo. Whether or not this stretch is bothersome is up to you. What you are seeing now is a Sega CDX outputting RGB to a PVM display. First up is the 240p test suite, an amazing application that you can download for many different platforms. It provides output for both 320 by 224 and 256 by 224 modes. The 320 mode uses 20 16 by 16 pixel squares to fill the screen horizontally. The 256 by 224 mode obviously has a smaller horizontal resolution and doesn't have room for 20 squares. It therefore uses 16. Naturally, the lower resolution across the horizontal, paired with the same vertical resolution used in 320 mode, demands that the squares appear wider on the CRT. Now let's examine the same screens in an emulator called Fusion. If we use a plugin to turn off the 4 to 3 aspect ratio stretch, the lower resolution squares now appear to have the same width as 320 mode. This gives us a good idea of the difference in the number of horizontal pixels between the two modes re-enabling the stretch and superimposing the 256 mode at 4 to 3 over the 320 mode makes it easier to see the difference in width amongst the squares. Shining in the Darkness is one game that uses the low resolution mode. Here we are in the throne room on the PVM, a real world example of what a low resolution Genesis game looks like on a CRT. Here is the same scene on an emulator and the same scene yet again, this time on an emulator with the 4-3 stretch disabled. Valus 3 is another example of a low-resolution game. It was ported from the PC Engine platform and most likely used the low-resolution mode to make for an easy conversion to the Genesis. To be honest, I never really looked at Valus 3 without the 4-3 aspect ratio stretch until now because I've only played it on a CRT. Both the cutscenes and the gameplay use the lower-resolution mode. Flashback uses low res mode, and I find it to be a rather interesting case. The game naturally stretches to 4 to 3 on a CRT as the other games do, but it was also available on many different platforms. I played through the DOS version in the early mid 90s, and it displays a centered image with pixels closer to squares rather than stretching to fill the 4 to 3 computer monitor. Obviously, there are many CRT monitors that allow you to compensate and stretch the output manually, but not all of them allow this. I seem to recall attempting to stretch flashback while viewing the DOS title screen around 1993 and deciding it looked better without the stretch. A consumer CRT naturally displays the stretch image from the Genesis, and despite being aware of the difference, I think it still looks gorgeous. There are many more low resolution examples, but the more common resolution used with the Genesis is 320x224. The majority of games used this mode. It was certainly much more common than the low resolution 256 pixel wide mode. It was also quite normal to see some games that used a combination of both modes. Title screens, menus, gameplay, and the Sega logo might have different resolutions in a single game. Take Golden Axe for example. It uses 320 mode for the Sega logo opening, 256 mode for the animated title screen, and then goes back to 320 mode for gameplay. As far as I can tell, most modern emulators of the Sega Genesis favored a displayed aspect ratio that uses integer scaling from a base mode of 320 by 224. Any 256 pixel sized games are stretched to fit by default. My question to you is this, do you care about gaming in a closer to square aspect ratio for the low resolution mode of this console, or do you just let the stretch happen on a fixed pixel display? 
were you aware that there are stretched modes for the Genesis? Most of my Sega Genesis gaming has happened on a CRT, and I just let it be the way it was 30 years ago, stretched. But I'm interested in hearing from any Square Pixel enthusiast amongst Genesis gamers, should there be any at all. Thanks for watching, and no matter what your preference for aspect ratio, happy gaming.